Arcos Golf discount code in the description down below. It's Mark 15. If you like this product, if you think it's going to help your game, use that code for great discounts. So lots of you who watch my content are realizing that I am now using Arcos. And to be fair, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to give you a full review of Arcos, my experiences with it. We're going to look at the hardware. We're going to look at what the app can do for your game, what the AI powered system within Arcos can do to help you learn and improve. We're also going to look at what the stats can do for your game and which ones maybe you should be using and concentrating on and ones that maybe we've kind of got wrong over the years. It's going to be a full review looking at everything Arcos produce. I've used it now for over, I don't know how many months, I reckon five months and I'm loving it. So let's kick this off with what actually Arcos is. Arcos is simply a system that's going to allow you to really start understanding your game in a way that can be super, super seamless or as in-depth as you want. So Arcos is a system that's going to track and measure every shot you play without you having to do anything. You're just going to hit shots and we'll talk about how the technology integrates into that as the video goes on. And it's going to know if you're in the fairway, in the rough, it's going to know how many putts you've had, it's going to know how far away from the hole you are on each shot, if you're hitting a tee shot, what course you're at. It's going to track you, allowing you then to, when you finish your game, get off the course and look at your performance, break it down in different categories from driving to approach to short shots to putting, penalty shots, accuracy, distance. It's going to allow you to understand how far you hit each club in performance in real situations on the course because the smart Arcos Caddy system built into the app will start suggesting clubs for you once you've got enough rounds in there. It's a GPS system, so you can use it to work out how far away you are from the hole. You don't need to track shots. You could just use it as a front, middle and back or exact yardages, the pins, measure where obstacles are, bunkers to carry, dog legs, those kind of things, layups, carries. So it's a system that really works seamlessly with a golfer who wants to understand their game to a better level to allow them to improve. And that's the real trick. When people start using these systems, the improvements and how to improve become super, super obvious. So number one, you need the app. The app is what is going to sync all your data in one place. It's going to allow you to look and process the data, edit the data after rounds to make sure everything's really super accurate. And also it's a it's the hub of your whole account. And the other devices that you're going to get, which we're going to talk about, which you don't need or can do subject to how you want to play, they link with the app to make the experience of using this device on the course as seamless as possible. So it all starts with the app. Now I'm going to show you the features of the app in more detail as we we go and these other hardware products because you're going to come around on nine holes with me as I use it and I'm going to show you basically how it's used in a practical situation. So let's kick it off by unboxing the smart sensors. Comes in a lovely little neat packaged box. You get the sensors inside. So we're getting 14 sensors. Each one of these sensors will be assigned to one of your golf clubs. So you will pair them within the app to one of the golf clubs. A really simple process of just using the barcode on the top and syncing it with the uh, camera in your phone and then telling that sensor and the phone what club that is. So every time that club is you swung, hit, Arcos is going to pick that up and it's going to send that information to that uh, app that you've got running, which could be in your pocket or in the buggy. And what's going to happen now is it's literally a seamless way of you collecting data as you play. You don't have to keep getting your phone out of your pocket. You don't have to keep registering or marking any spots. The smart sensors are doing that for you. They neatly screw into the top of the club so anyone can apply them to their clubs. And once they're in, you kind of forget that they're even there and you just go and play golf and your data is being collected. Now, if you're looking for a more phoneless experience on the golf course, you don't want your phone in your pocket or too close by, you can use Arcos's link system. This is a tiny little lightweight system. If we unbox it here, you can see lovely packaging again, tiny little system that literally it comes with a clip clips onto your belt you're not even going to know it's on you connect it up you start your round basically on your phone 
once it's connected to the link, you put your phone away and the link is going to do all the work for you as you play. You just go out there and play, hit shots. It's going to pick up every shot you play and then it's going to send that data real time back to your phone. So once you finish your round, turn the link off and the data is going to be on your phone ready for you to look at, tidy up and edit to make sure it's as accurate as possible, which is something we'll come to that lots of people often feel is a bit of a fault, but it's something that you need to learn to do to get these systems so the data is really good. So let's unbox now the Arcos Smart Grips. This is the system I use. So I'm pairing my phone when I get to a course, turning it on, you know, just locating the course I'm at, hitting start round, and then I'm just hitting shots with the sensors that are in my grips. And the beauty with these is there's a number of different grips that you can choose from. I've got plus four mid-size grips and they come with the sensors basically installed in the top. I put these grips on myself. You can do that. You might want to buy the grips and then go to a pro and pay them to put them on if you're not confident of putting, taking your old grips on and putting new grips on yourself. I think this is the most seamless way of playing. I don't even know I'm tracking. I'm not even watching, looking, touching anything if I don't want to. It's all happening with the sensor that's in my grip. I haven't even got anything stuck out at the top, which personally, I like the cleanliness of it, the clean look of it, the feel of it. This is my preferred way of using this system. And then the final bit of hardware, which is software but pairs with hardware, is the app that comes on the Apple Watch. This is how I use the device as well, so I don't have to keep pulling my phone out of my pocket. I do that, which you'll see as we play some holes, but the app, it's free to install. I just install it on my device. I connect on the phone. I connect my app on to the phone as we go. I can put the phone away. It's now coming up on my uh, watch face, front, middle, back. So I got the wind direction, the wind speed, the power of the hole. It allows me to locate uh, pin positions. It allows me to mark how many putts, which you'll see me do on the course. I love using it on a watch that I wear every day. I've used other systems where you have to use a watch. And even though they're decent systems, what I don't like about it is having to take two watches on trips. I use a watch every day and I can just get to the golf course. The watch that I have on for that day is ready to go, ready to play golf. So the Arcos app for me on the Apple smartwatch is a fantastic addition. Just for the purpose of this video, I have my Apple Watch running. I have the link system on me as well as the app running as well. So if I want to glance at my phone, it's on my home lock screen, all the information I need. I can just simply unscroll, come in, and it's giving me information. It's got weather and wind and what have you in there. Now, this is a really interesting green because this green, I can chuck it to the pin. Now I can see where this pin is. So I could go on the green here and literally identify the pin pretty close to where it is. I reckon it's around there. And now my yardage is on both devices is gonna update. So this device here, if I just green grab it, it's even got the pin icon locked on to tell me I've got the pin uh, you know, located. But this green has a big slope from front to back, like a massive slope. So I probably only wanna land this ball, I reckon about there. 43 or 44 playing yards, even though it's 64 yards. And that's the beauty of using this when I play. I don't mind, I've got my phone in my pocket. This is something I actually really enjoy about this app. I understand that some might not, and that's why you've then also got Link, which I've got on at the minute as well. I'm capturing so many, it'll be interesting this comes out. Or I can just go front, middle and back on the watch. So you can see here at the bottom, it's got some suggestions of Club Freewood 265, my free hybrid is 239, my old one hybrid, which I haven't got, uh, is uh, 219. But the one I've got in my bag now, 235 for the four hybrid, six iron 205. So it's like saying hit the my 22 degree hybrid. It's telling me what to hit based on other shots and obviously the wind as well. Now I know something about this green as well, which I might want to work in. So. I know I need to be landing the ball up here, which is 210 into this win, 197, but playing 210. Obviously in competition mode, you would, wouldn't be able to have this information, but I can learn it. I can see what the wind strength is, try and gauge it from day to day. I can measure the wind strength going into a round. Um, you know, before I start, I can look on forecasts and what have you. I want to aim this short left. It's giving me that yardage. I don't care where the pin is, it's all going to kick down. 
So it's really helping me understand my game on the course before I even get to the stats off the course. Lovely, that's a birdie. Now what I can also do on my app here is on the watch I'm setting location. I get near the pin, I set location. I can also mark how many putts I had. I had one putt there. It is gonna need some editing this round because obviously I tap that in with my wedge, but we'll show you that later. The ability to collect stats is going to allow you to have a realistic idea of your good or bad at certain skills. We'll come to the stats later on in the video. So one of my favourite features is a hole like this, where you can't actually see where I'm trying to hit it. You can't see the bit of fairway I'm going towards. When I travel and play courses I don't know, having the map view, the overhead view, is fantastic for trying to select targets, where I need to aim, I mean, I need to be going basically as close to those trees there on the left as I can, literally straight over here, which I always struggle to believe on this hole, which is why I generally block it right and often lose my ball. <laughs> so as you can see me playing, it's seamless. I'm not really doing anything. I'm interacting with the app when I want it, to. It's not interfering, it it's assisting my game. The only time you'll see me doing something in the app is at the green when i get to the flag i want to mark that pin and i mark how many putts i've had i don't need to do that i could do that when i edit which will show the edit of the round further on in the video par threes holes that we all struggle on best players the amateurs struggle on i can see that pin is looking like the back middle so i'm again going to locate my pin because i'm hitting distance to the pin so that's now giving me my yardage 164 with wind yeah, I mean, that is, the wind's really helping, 173 yardage. I mean, it's making me change my mind on, on where I should hit it. Now, the next thing that happens as well, now this bunker's gone and this will update. The updates are free, it'll just update over time. But I know if I, how narrow this green gets, I actually want to be hitting the ball kind of about here at the longest point, which is a 165 kind of club. And it's making these small differences that's really going to help you grind out a few better scores and make less mistakes by being in theory so much better informed about your own game well, i've hit that medium to good so that should be middle of the green and it is it's in the middle of the green and this is the point with the pin back here I could have hit seven, which is my original club, and if I hit the shot I hit, would have been career. Like, it would have been back here, and I'd have been putting for birdie. But I only have to miss it slightly to the left. Wind was off the right, and I'm now down here in longish grass, short-sided. These are holes that I'm going to average over par on. I'm going to try and do everything on a par three using Arcos's data and learning from it to try and make sure I squeeze more pars out of these holes trying to make a two on this par three, you know, 170 or whatever it's playing to that flag. It's just so unrealistic. So even on a course that I film at a lot and I know it changes intricately every day. So my carries, my distances to get over things, carries are not always going to be saying because the wind's going to take into effect. These tees move backwards and forwards. So I'm still each hole really am. If I wanted to score, if I wanted to play, seeing where I can cover and can't. I can't cover the bunker on the left today, so I'm gonna to have to hit a straighter one. Which it's done. I've hit that, wow, the wind's just moving it. That is perfect. I'll bounce on, ball, bounce on. So let's look at the post round edit. I've played, I've captured, it was quite seamless, but now I need to go into the app and make sure the captures are decent. And this is definitely something that does get people a little hot under the collar. They expect it to be exact and perfect without them doing anything. They just want to look at it quickly. So basically what I do is I go into my activity down here at the bottom, I find my round, I go into view and edit, uh, I didn't play the 7th, I started at the 8th, and I can see the holes I've played. Now, I have tidied this one up a little bit, um, but the tidying up, I actually enjoy. I don't see it as a problem, but if you're someone who's expecting to just play, come back, look at your stats, not touch the app, then yes, you will be upset. So think about this. 
if I make a practice swing and if I bang the club on the ground, sometimes that registers as a shot. Sometimes it doesn't pick a shot up subject to how you hit it and just because none of this technology is perfect it still needs that human element sometimes i tag the flag and the flag's off the green and i have to go in there go to the green view and i can simply just move the flag around where i want it to be and edit the round and it's the same with your shots you can go in there edit the shots and i can move it around subject to where i was and what i had in and you know how far it was and all those kind of things so I can actually make it as perfect as I want. So I could write things down. I could do it as I go if I wanted to do that. But there's always going to be an element of editing afterwards. So that's something you do need to expect. And I think it's the biggest chipper up. People get it. They're excited. It's technology. Technology should work. I shouldn't have to touch it. Well, yes, there will be some wobbles with every system I've used. And you will need to tidy it up. The good thing with tidying it up as well, I think is it makes you relive your round, your experience a bit more. Obviously you can do that in the stats, so I can see the stats for my round. I can go into the round and see how I compare to my target. So my target as a tour player, <laughs> we're all unrealistic as golfers, aren't we? I can see my driving gained on this round, my approach lost nearly two shots, my short game almost won them back, and then my putting almost broke even, lost nearly half a shot. So to a tour pro on this round, I lost 0.4 to a tour pro. Really happy with that. To a, I can now move this and move it to, as it say, a plus two. I'd be happy to play it off plus two. So am I beating on a plus two or not? Yeah, on that round, I'm gaining 1.6 on a plus two handicap player. You can really dial down, we're going to look at the stats in a second, how the stats are helping each part of your game, but post round editing, it's something you need to start to enjoy and learn and take whatever notes that you can't remember because the more accurate you get this, the more accurate your data will be, the more accurate now it'll be for your improvements to be realistic or not. <laughs> When you open up the Arcos app, down in the lower left-hand corner, select the player option. When you get to that overall screen, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is along the top, choose the handicap level that you're going to compare yourself to, and then the number of rounds you're going to look at. I typically choose between 10 and 20, depending on how many rounds I've played recently. First page we're gonna look at is the overall page. And you can just look at the strokes gain for each category. Positive is good, negative is bad. I'm going to typically advise players to spend more time practicing those areas of the game that are negative for them, that are bad. Next, we're gonna to go to the driving page. And Argos breaks down your strokes gained off the tee by distance, accuracy, and penalty shots. So you can take a look at that and you can see what parts of your driver are hurting you the most or helping you the most. And then you can pick those items to, to work on and try to improve. And next on the approach page, I want you to scroll down and take a look at your strokes gained by distance. This is going to show the weak spots from different areas and will give you an indication of what part of your approach play, your iron play, you should be working on. And when you see those areas where you're losing a lot of strokes, those are the types of shots that you should be spending more time practicing. Finally, I want you to look at the putting page and scroll down and take a look at your strokes gained by distance. You're going to see what distances need the most to work for you. Is it going to be the short putts where you can have a higher make rate? Or is it going to be the mid and longer range putts that are typically speed control issues? So check out and see what parts of putting need work for you. And that'll allow you to focus your efforts a whole lot better. Using Arcos for as long as I've now used it, I'm really enjoying the stats it delivers. I really enjoy the on-course possibilities as well as the seamlessness of it if I choose to not look at any of my devices. I love that it integrates with a watch that I wear daily. That's a huge win for me. And anyone who starts using these devices, so any of the Arcos hardware, whichever way you configure it to work for your game, you definitely see instant rewards instant wins for golfers because they start to understand from the stats from the data how their game really is performing or not compared to their target that they set for themselves and i think that's the key it's maybe one of the best teaching aids in golf 
any of these systems. It's just going to allow you to understand more than the kind of bar room chat where you say, oh, I was really good today, but I'm lucky. It allows you to just cut through all that kind of myth and get to the bottom of where your improvements lie. Now, the downsides with Arcos is you do need to have some understanding of how to use your phone. You do need to edit the round, like I've said. That's something you are going to have to do. It will miss shots. It will put a shot way off sometimes. So you do have to manage your round afterwards. That would be one of the downsides for me. The app and the technology, I think, is constantly improving and updating. It's only going to get better and better and better and better at the moment. Is it perfect? No. Is any device perfect? No. Is it seamless? Can it make me play and enjoy my golf without me having to do loads? Yes, it can. So as long as you are a little bit minded in understanding what you want from this, which hopefully is improvement, understanding your game more, it's totally going to deliver those things for you. So as a whole, if any of my students, anyone I know or, or wants my opinion, if they ask, should I collect stats or not? It's a no brainer for me. Yes, if you're not collecting stats, you are going to be leaving shots out there. Really low hanging fruit, cheap, easy gains. So for anyone who wants to improve their game, anybody who wants to understand what their golf is really doing, this is a must have for all golfers. Now, if you're looking at Arcos, use this code if you want discounts on the product. Remember, I'm not fussed what you buy. Don't use the code, but whatever you want to do, I'm not fussed. Make the decision that's right for you. But if you're looking at Arcos, this code will give you a great little discount. Remember, if you're enjoying the videos and you want to improve different parts of your game, this one's a great video for anyone improving their driver swing.